Okay, so we're going to go ahead and create a coil in Autodesk Inventor. So we're going to go ahead and do the drop down part menu, or sorry, part file. Uh, we're going to do a start 2D sketch, XZ plane. Okay, and we're going to go ahead and um, so we're going to be doing a, uh, a, a coil, right? So we're going to go back to sketch, and basically we just need a couple of things, all right? We need a line, and we need something to coil around the line. Okay, in this case, we're just going to do a circle. It could be any shape, though, right? It could be a complex shape, anything you really want. All right, so we got, we have our complex shape. That we're going to go ahead and trim out. And we're going to go ahead and have a line. All right. Okay, so there we have it. We got our line, we got our shape. And now we're going to go ahead and do finish sketch. We're going to click on coil. The profile is already selected. Notice how it was already selected there. And now we're going to click on the axis. So that's the, um, the line. And then we see the, the preview of how the shape is going to occur. All right. We can do the coil size. So the pitch is the, the distance between uh, the, the uh, rotations, right? Uh, and then we can do the number of revolutions. So say we want 10 revolutions. We can also do a taper. Okay, so this is the number of degrees taper. So we can do a 10 degree taper. We can also do a negative taper. All right. Um, let's say we just want a five degree taper out. Okay. All right, coil ends. We can go ahead and do start. Uh, we can do flat or natural. Okay, let's go ahead and do flat on both ends. And we're going to go ahead and click OK. Okay, so sometimes it takes a minute to do, and then we're going to go ahead and do zoom all, and this is what we get. Okay, so the the nat notice how that the ends are cut. Uh, um, we couldn't change that, and notice how it is tapered out. Okay, so that's how you do a coil. Uh, gr good luck.